Hi guys, Rose here with the Cackling Moon. This is going to be another talk tarot. Um, so I was, <laughs> I was already filming this and then of course I get a phone call so I had to like stop it. But I had already pulled the card, I was shuffling and the card that I pulled is the Ace of Swords. So that is gonna be what we're gonna be talking about today. Um, so please get yourself a glass of water, some tea, some coffee, your tarot journal, a piece of paper and a pen, whatever, um, a crystal to hold on to for this video. Um, and let's discuss the beautiful Ace of Swords. Okay. So Ace of Swords, let me give you guys some key words. Um, Ace of Swords is the card of truth. That's like the first thing that comes to mind is the card of truth, okay? Truth, integrity, honesty. It is being 100% transparent. It is communication. It is honor. It is um, speaking with power, okay? It is communication. It's your thoughts. It is your inspiration. It's, it's air energy. So it is an air sign, <laughs> The swords is the air suit. So air is, like I said, it's communication, your mind, your thoughts, your um, psyche. And it's also, like I said, truth and honesty and blah, 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 blah. Also, aces are new beginnings. So anytime an ace card comes up to me is a symbol of this is either a new beginning or a new idea. Especially for the ace of swords, it's like an, a new idea. Um an inspiring idea, a topic, something new to talk about. Um, it's an opportunity, okay? So those are aces. Aces are like new beginnings. It is page one. It is the first part of the next path that you take, okay? And because we're talking about swords, like I said, it's communication, that thought, that idea, all of the above. Um... So let's talk about it in terms of yourself. So if you were pulling this for yourself or your own personal energy and you pulled the Ace of Swords, this is saying either you need to be in check more with how honest with yourself you were being, or maybe it is the power of expression, self-expression. So are you truly expressing yourself in the best way? Are you communicating more? Do you need to strengthen your ability to communicate? Um, it could be saying that there's some new stuff coming up that you're going to be magically inspired one day. So get ready. It could be an indication of that. This could be an indication of you're going to be given an opportunity to share some amazing ideas or to share certain thoughts or certain things that are going to be coming your way. Um, it's also a need to tell the truth. Okay. So if you get this card and maybe the first thought you have is, oh my gosh, I've been lying to myself. This Ace of Swords is coming up. It's kind of saying, um, you need to start being a little bit more honest with yourself. So it could be that too. Um, I also feel like this is just like the power of communication. When you pull this for yourself, it's it's kind of saying you need to speak up more. You need to take initiative. You know, the, the, the baton or the sword is being handed to you. It is your opportunity to share your truth. So perhaps this is like, like an opening or an indication of there's something that you need to share with the world or um especially if you if you are one of those like motivational people or you are um <laughs> or like you're somebody that has a lot of following and there's a lot of people that watch you and you know they like to see what you're doing um this could be an indication of putting yourself out there a little bit more or sharing an idea okay if we're looking at the ace of swords and come in um in terms of love and relationships, the big one for this I see is the need to speak truth, to communicate more in your relationship, okay? So <laughs> let's break it down a little bit. Um, if you are in a relationship, Ace of Swords is kind of saying you need to speak and communicate with your lover more. You need to be open more. You, need, you guys need to be more transparent. You need to be more honest. Maybe if we pull it in the reverse, it could show... Um, that there's someone is not being completely honest with the other person in the relationship, or it could show that there's no communication. Okay, there might be a, like a, a block. Obviously, trust your intuition on this when you're feeling what, whatever you're feeling when the card pops up. But those are just some ideas. 
If you're single and you pull the Ace of Swords, this can be an, an opportunity that's going to be coming your way. This could be saying you are going to have to be the one that steps forward and talks to the person first. <laughs> A lot of times if we're single, you're waiting for that person to come to you, right? But this might be an indication of there's going to be an opportunity popping up, but you're going to have to be the person to break the ice first, okay? If you're single, this can be an indication of you're looking for, um, you know, you're looking for communication. You're looking for a relationship or somebody that you can talk to. Um, this could be a sign of therapy for people, okay? Especially in love, like especially if your relationship is going downhill and you pull an ace of swords or if it comes up in reverse too. Um, it could be an indication of needing to go to couples therapy or um, needing to really speak about what is happening or what is going on with your heart or how you feel. Um, you know, it could be that too. Um, like I said, honoring truth. It could be... Um, I don't, you know, in a relationship, it's like maybe bringing new ideas to the mix, new date ideas, new places to go hang out. You know what I mean? Like starting fresh, starting over, that kind of thing. Okay, in terms of love, I mean, not in love, in terms of money and like your career, this is big. For career, if you are, um, if you are putting out applications and stuff and you pull the Ace of Swords, this could be like getting the interview. This could be the big, like the big one. <laughs> Usually I would see the Ace of Pentacles, how he's holding like the little pentacle in his hand as the indication of getting the job. But this is like getting the phone call, okay? Um, if you are currently working or whatnot and you pull this card, it could be an indication of speaking up more. Maybe you need to um, learn to speak up or you have an idea that you want to put out there into the world and 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 pitch an idea to your boss or to your teammates. That could be an indication of that. Um, communicating more in the workplace. You could see it as that too. If you pull a reverse, it's maybe there's a lack of communication. Maybe there's too much drama going on. Pay attention to what other cards you pull alongside the Ace of Swords. Um, what else? With, with money, I would say maybe this is saying there, you need to come up with new creative ways of receiving money or making money. Um, or in the reverse with money, this could be it's now is not the right time to sign contracts or now is not the right time to bring up certain things, that kind of thing. Um, it could be are you lying to yourself or are you being honest with yourself? It could be that too. <laughs> um, let's see how much time. I have seven minutes in. <sighs> future tense. So if we're looking at the future, the future, like I said, it could be kind of like the same thing I said. Future tense, ace of swords could be like an opportunity, receiving that phone call, getting that indication, that thumbs up. Yeah, another thing, I, another way, another cool way, like I see the aces are thumbs up or thumbs down, depending on if it's reversed or if it's upright. <laughs> um, in terms of spirituality, to me, this is the ultimate speaking to God. We have the crown, God or goddess energy, whoever, whatever, however you believe. Um, but this could be the indication of needing to connect, to reconnect, having a stronger connection with God energy. Um, being or, or honoring your faith and your spiritual, your spiritual journey, that kind of thing. Um, this could be maybe having a conversation or this could be coming out. I mean, sometimes this card could be coming out about yourself, right? Maybe you're coming out of the spiritual closet or maybe you're coming out of the closet or maybe you're, <laughs> you are saying something that is like impressing other people or it's inspiring people. Okay. That's, that's another indication of an ace of swords. Um, this is also fucking awakening, especially if we're looking at it in terms of spiritual connection. Aces of swords are new beginnings, but it could also be the freaking awakening process happening in within you. So you're just inspired and you're just receiving messages from spirit and you're like all into it and you're just completely in the journey or in the zone. Um, so that's another way of seeing ace of swords. Um, I think that pretty much like covers the majority of how I view this card. Um, I really love the aces. They're probably one of my favorite cards, um, in the tarot deck, but, um, <laughs> 
the Ace of Swords has, there's so many different ways, obviously, as you could tell. There are so many different ways that you could read a card. So I hope that that helped you with your studies. Um, and thank you guys for tuning in and watching another episode of Talk Tarot. Um, leave comments below with how you feel about the Ace of Swords or anything that maybe I didn't mention or any other ideas that you have for it. Leave them in the comments below so that we can share and discuss. And until then, I will talk to you guys later. Bye, my loves.